This is especially true in sports that involve sudden changes in direction, such as soccer, basketball, skiing, and contact sports, such as rugby, American football, and martial arts. It occurs when the joint is forced in a different direction than the person intends, or when it is bent too much by the body weight when landing on the ground. At the time of injury, there is usually a snap sound inside the body, and at that time, it is often possible to walk with some difficulty. The day after the injury, there is often a lot of blood in the knee, making it difficult to walk. The anterior cruciate ligament in the knee is rarely injured by itself, and is often accompanied by damage to the meniscus and medial collateral ligament. It has been reported to occur more frequently in women than in men, but the frequency varies from two to eight times, depending on the report. It is not clear what causes it to be more common in women. The anterior cruciate ligament rarely heals spontaneously because blood flow is very poor in this area, but even if it is damaged or torn, it may be possible to perform daily life and recreational sports without problems by strengthening the muscles around the knee. However, some people argue that it is difficult to return to sports at a competitive level through conservative therapy, and may choose to undergo surgical reconstruction in order to return to competition. It is also known that rupture of the anterior cruciate ligament increases the risk of developing osteoarthritis of the knee in the future, and reports exist that people who have experienced rupture of the anterior cruciate ligament have a 3.62 times higher risk than those who have not and in cases where conservative therapy was performed, the risk is 4.98 times higher than those who had reconstruction.